Hey, you wondering what's going on in the corner real estate market? We got an update coming to you next. Dylan Naraka here from the Buy Big Island video blog and going to be giving you a market update today on specifically the Kona housing market and what that's looking like and some data points and first some disclaimers, right? I'm not a fortune teller. Anybody who uh, pretends to be is leading you in the wrong direction, but I'm going to give you the best data that we have available and give you a little bit of analysis about it to see if we can uh, let you know what the market's doing, where it's heading, give you a little bit of insight into um, what's going on. So uh, as you probably know, real estate is not always a rational business. So you can look at the data, but there's always folks that let emotion get into the mix and that always pushes the data one way or the other. So that's something that to always keep at the top of your mind when you're looking at, at market data. Um, but I'm trying to give you the real simple stuff that no fancy graphs, just the numbers, and then give you some information and my thoughts on those things. And the island is very diverse, so you have lots of different areas of Hawaii Island and then lots of different sub markets like the condo and land market within those areas, which vary drastically. So we're going to be focusing just in on the Kona uh, land, condo, and housing market, but I can provide these updates for any sub area of the island if you're looking in Waimea or Waikoloa or Hilo or the Hamako Coast, any of those areas we can break the data down and specifically look because if you look across the island, the averages are a little bit skewed because you have really high-end stuff here in Kona, you know, $5 million homes on the coast, and then you have uh, homes in, in the east, southeast side that sell for $150,000, $200,000. The same type of home if built in the west side may be a six or $700,000 house. So uh, looking at the, the data by district of the island helps give you a little bit more accurate information. And so we're going to be comparing the 2017 data to the 2018 data month by month. So you can compare what it looked like last year to what it looks like this year, and then we're looking at five main data points. But the first thing I wanted to share was a quick update on the lava, because that's always uh, top of mind thinking that that's going to be something that's going to affect our uh, real estate market here. But this is a really good depiction of what the news is making it look like and what's actually going on. So the lava is continuing to be spectacular and flow. But if you look, this is this little tiny area right here, blown up down here, of where the lava actually is and the amount of area that's being affected. So the vast majority of the island, 95%, is okay. And a lot of that smoke and ash that you see that they're talking about is blowing down this way to the southern part of the island and then going out to the ocean. So we got some fog on the west side, but again, keep this in mind. This is the reality. That's what it kind of makes it seem like on the news. All right, so the Kona market update, we're gonna be looking at basically five main data points. Current units sold, the dollar vo volume, the median price, the average days on market, and the final list of price sold. That's an interesting statistic. So if you look at this, this is broken out by homes, condos, and land, and the percent change is the difference between April, and we're looking at April's data, we get it um, a month after the month closes, we, we get this information. So we're looking at April in 2017 versus April of 2018. And you look at current units is down a little bit. That fluctuates depending on the, the it's, not a, it's not a real important data point. You have dollar volume, which is up 10%. You know, that's really skewed by the number of large homes that sell. Sometimes in a month you get five or six, you know, three plus million dollar homes that sell on the, by the resorts and that pushes that number way up. So that kind of can go back and forth too. It's not a great um, indicator. Uh, but median price also, right? Median versus average is an important thing to, to understand. If you just divide 52 million by 46, it's like $1.1 $1 million. So it looks like the average home price is very high. That's skewed by those higher end homes. But median is the middle, the middle home, right? So in the middle of 46, there's this equal number of homes that sold above 800,000 as there is below 800,000. So that's where you get that median price from, which is up 23% which seems like a lot, but there was a few uh, large sales that drug those, um, that median price up because there was just three sales totaling 18 million out of that 52 million. So uh, those high-end home sales can definitely change that data. To me, the most important two numbers are the average days on market and the final list of sold price. So people always ask, 
How long is my house going to take to sell? And this is one indicator. And again, this is average, right? This is average single family homes just in Kailua Kona, but 77 days, which is down 8%, which means they're selling a little bit faster than they were in 2017. But if you look across the board, the condo market, 56 days on market, the land market, 209 days on market. So land is, is taking a little bit longer to sell than condos and homes, but the market's strong, it's, it's, it's pretty hot, but it's not crazy like in some markets where stuff sells the first day on market, you get three uh, offers the first day. So average days on market is interesting, um, going down a little bit, which means a little bit hotter than it was a year ago. And then final list of sold price is also a very interesting number, um, definitely right now, and it's 91%. So this means what the final sale price was versus the list price. So people are getting 91.5% of what they were asking when they listed the property. That's interesting because really 10, people are conceding 10% of that sales price to get property sold, and that's actually up 3% um, from, from, where, from where it was a year ago. And if you look across the board, it's somewhat similar, 92.5% for condos, final sale to list price, and then 86%, so pretty low for land. People are definitely pricing land high. That's what this tells us, right, is when people put property on the market, really across the board in all three categories, they're pricing it pretty high and sellers are ending up getting, getting those properties for about 10% less, nine, 10% less than what folks are listing them for. So very interesting data point. Um, we can kind of feel that, that you know, sellers are aggressive. They feel like the market's good, the market's hot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna list higher than the last sale in my neighborhood. And I think buyers are a are little, little bit more cautious now and not paying those uh, list prices that they were in the past. So something to think about if you're thinking about selling a property and definitely something to think about and factor in when you're going to buy a property is looking at that final list of sold price and looking at you know what makes sense in terms of a starting place for negotiation as a buyer. So some interesting stuff. Um, I got the comparison of 17, 16, and 15 if you want to look year by year. But if you look at average days on market, somewhat stable and then final list of sold price same thing somewhat stable and this is island-wide across all markets so though that median price looks low um but this is rolling in land condos and single family homes all together but if you can see the 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 numbers have been pretty stable year after year for the last three years so there hasn't been any huge spikes or dips in the last three years and that's kind of what it feels like right now right a lot of it is is, is feel but the numbers can reinforce that so Hopefully this provides you a little bit of information that you may have been wondering about. Again, I can produce this for any sub market across the island, whether it be condos in a certain area or land in a certain area. So if you need that, if you're interested in that, want to have a conversation about that, give me a call, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on YouTube, um, all the different avenues were available. And again, hit the subscribe button so you can get the updates, hit the like, share the Facebook video. I appreciate you guys' support, getting lots of views and We'll continue to bring stuff like this and much more in the future. Aloha.